Edmonton. We're here at the end of week three over at the Mansfield Barn. Um, so we're looking at a corner here. We were finishing up at the end of last week. We had this jacked up in the air. We had lifted the main level, the first floor level up. Uh, we had picked up here 14 inches or so to match what was going on with the opposite corner. And then we actually had to over jack things a little bit in order to be able to get our sills and our posts in. So now we've got three new posts and girts, actually four new posts, sills, and uh, we've got the thing set back down. And so at this point, we are roughly level here at this corner with the opposite corner on the other side and ready for siding. The roof of the barn, this is what we spent uh, most of our time on this week. We've got, uh, we had started the week with just a little bit of plywood down at the bottom of the east barn and the west barn here, the west half of the barn, uh, still had the roofing metal and cedar shingles and everything on it. So we, uh, we began the week by stripping off the roofing metal, shingles, denailing everything. And uh, we can, now we have it covered with plywood. Uh, there's pine sheathing underneath the plywood and there's a layer of underlayment paper so it's black between any of the gaps between the pine sheathing so you don't see the plywood. And then we've got zip wall plywood above. The zip wall creates a structural diaphragm to make the engineer happy uh, so there's no racking in the roof system and uh, gets us weather tight for the winter as well. And so we're gonna keep pushing forward, not actually putting the new roof on just yet because we're gonna try to keep moving through all the structural stuff and getting everything plywooded before the, the new roof goes on on the other side as well. So we're just kind of finishing up odds and ends, getting some roof trim on, getting everything cut, and then we'll, we'll move on to the other side of the building.